Hello church, we just wanted to give uh, a little uh, encouragement this afternoon to, for you to be planning for Sunday and, and as you enter the fairgrounds, kind of the steps what to go through. And so, uh, oh yeah, uh, I know I have my hat on, it's it's a bad hair day. So the, the route that you'll come in on is Route 4, if you might saying uh, which which route, which road is that? Well, that's over by Rural King. If you can see over there across the street, you come in here and uh, turn uh, into the fairgrounds and just continue to, to uh, head forward here. I mean, you most of you have been to the fairgrounds, so you um, aren't totally unfamiliar with the, the territory. You uh, could, could uh, go straight forward, but if you follow the map that Donna put out, uh, when you when you come up here, you're going to turn uh, right, <clears throat> and that'll head you over to or the uh, livestock area. And what we're going to do is make our way up toward the uh, the west end of the fairgrounds where the pavilion is. So as, as you uh, plan uh, on on arriving uh, Sunday, keep in mind that we'll have communion uh, here for you and. Uh, just uh, when you get to this spot right here you're going to turn left and you're just a, a few feet away now from the pavilion uh, bring a mask you know just in case you, you need it because of not being able to social distance uh, when you're coming in um, while you're here or, or when you're leaving have it have it with you in case you need it uh, as I'll show you in a few minutes the, uh, the, the pavilion is quite a large size so um, shouldn't really have to wear it inside the pavilion as, as long as we are, are socially uh, distinct. So if you look up here now we've arrived at the pavilion you can park in the grassy area over here to the right we're going to mark this area up here where you see uh, My, uh, my truck parked there. Uh, we're going to identify that as uh, handicap parking and we'll have that labeled for you. So after you get it parked, uh, then you'll want to uh, remember that, oh, you brought uh, lawn chairs uh, with you so that everybody will have their own seat. You don't have to worry about chairs that have been used by, by other people. So get your uh, lawn chairs out bring them in and as you can see there's there's lots of spacing here for you then to group according to family units or whoever you've been you know socializing uh, with and <clears throat> at the front there we'll have a pa system the acoustics in here are, are actually quite good but we'll have a PA system so everyone can can hear well. We've got plenty of open space, which is uh, uh, then we don't have to worry about the weather uh, if it should rain. Although I don't think it's supposed to on Sunday, and uh, then to uh, shelter us from the direct contact with the sun as well. So after you you get your your uh, seat in place, uh, don't forget uh, to have picked up communion. We'll have communion sitting here on the tables uh, for you. And we look forward to then uh, enjoying the service together. So, yeah, after you get uh, you, you situated, uh, then uh, you're all set. And we look forward to uh, seeing you here. And I just want to leave you with this uh, word today as to look in uh, Psalms 133. It says, how good and how pleasant it is when brothers come together in unity. Look forward to seeing you on Sunday if it's comfortable for you to be here. If not, keep in mind that there will be a virtual worship posted online. God bless.